Welcome back, it's Zion from Yukon Demand, and this week we're going over We Three Kings of Orientar. What you just heard was our intermediate Logi version. At yukondemand.com we also have an intermediate Hygi version and a beginner-friendly arrangement as well. In this video though, we're going to go over the first two bars of the version you just heard, but at yukondemand.com you can get the tabs for all the versions, including the part two tutorial for this arrangement. And so to begin, we're going to start out in a pretty wide position. We're going to have the index finger on the second fret of G, and we'll have the pinky on the seventh fret of the A. And this is actually an A minor chord. You're probably more familiar with A minor looking like this with just this G string, but this version is A minor as well, and it'll sound like this. And just so you can hear how it's supposed to sound, I'll play through the bar very quickly first. And so that's what we're learning right here. So after we strum this chord, we're simply going to leave the shape there and pick the G string, C string, E string. You can either let the pinky slide back down to the 5th fret or just put your ring finger down there instead. But either way, just pick that 5th fret of A once. And then the E string by itself. And now we're here, we're going to drop into an A minor again, but this, again, it's going to look a little bit different than your standard A minor, which is just the second fret of the G. We'll still have that second fret of G, but we're also this time going to have the third fret of the A. And strum once. After you've strummed the chord, you can remove the ring finger, and you're simply going to pick each string individually, uh, starting from the G string and working your way down. So it'll be G, C, E, and A. And then simply pick the C string one more time, and then we'll go into an E7. And an E7, it's just going to be your index finger on the first fret of G, middle finger on second fret of C, and ring finger on the second fret of the A. So the E string is still open. And just like before, you're going to strum once. And then pick, leaving the chord there, pick the G string, C string, pinky comes to the third fret of the A string, you're going to pick that once, then remove the pinky, pinky, pick the second fret of A, and then just pick the open E string. Finally, we get to play an A minor, but this time it'll be completely normal, it'll just be the second fret of the G. So we'll put that bar together very slowly, so you can play along. And then finishing out the bar, you just got one more note, that C string. And going into bar two now, uh, now you're in luck because this song repeats itself quite a lot throughout the different sections uh, of the song. And uh, this bar is identical, 100% identical to the first bar. So you already know how to play this one. And so we'll go through that one more time very slowly. So it'll be that very wide A minor. And then pick G, C, E. Come down to 5th fret A. An E string. 
A minor with the third fret of A, and then G, C, E, open A, C string, into an E7, then pick the G string, C, third fret A, second fret A, E string, and then finally, A minor chord. That's how to play the first two bars of We Three Kings. To get the rest of the tabs and tutorial, head over to ukeondemand.com and subscribe below so you don't miss our upcoming fingerstyle tutorials. We'll see you next time.